Hey, good morning. You guys ever wake up in the middle of the country and the guy you're staying with is like, uh, hey, can you go out there and try to shoot some of those coyotes? My wife's killed about seven of them off the back porch lately and we're having a bad problem with them taking her cattle out this year. You do me a favor, just lock and load and send some lead down range if you see a furry critter out there. It's kind of what I woke up to this morning. Me and Flair are out here at the favorite, the favorite ranch. We're doing a little rod design this week and uh, just kind of hanging out in the country. So anyway, this is what you do. You just grab you a cup of coffee and you look for goaties. And I believe that's a white van coming in right now. Well, I think Winston's working on something out here at the crib. Meanwhile, I'm loading a uh, high-powered rifle as they're coming in to check things out. <laughs> This makes you feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> Flair doing some glassing right now. This is this is high stakes hunting right here, next to the, uh, the septic tank, and uh, we got we got guys working on the pool over here, waiting on something to come out. There's actually a real beautiful field out here. I don't really know what we're doing. I guess we're just kind of waiting on breakfast. It's kind of what you do out here. You just wait for varmints to come out. You shoot one if one comes out, then you go grab you some eggs and some coffee and start your day. That's Flair improvising in a pinch. Brilliant. You can almost hear it over the semis down the highway. <laughs> hey Poochie, you look like you have problems. Oh. Aw, what a cutie. I don't think the coyote hunting is really gonna happen. But I did manage to scrounge myself up a stout cup of coffee. Free range, I might add. A lot of stuff happening right here. There's a lot of big equipment. Besides the, the pool building, this is gonna be uh, like a favorite fishing hangout area and just also for just general pool use at the, at the favorite ranch. All this back here is going to be a massive, uh, I think it's gonna be a 38 acre lake with 60 foot deep, uh, a dam crappie, it's gonna have bass, it's gonna have big bluegill, all laid out very nicely. And I think Jimmy Houston is actually gonna help with the design of this, maybe a few other anglers. I don't know if you guys know about Jimmy Houston, but he's got some phenomenal ponds. I've actually been there and I've seen them, I've fished them. They're incredible, he has an incredible place. He knows a thing or two about building ponds. This all back here, where we were looking for coyotes this morning, this is going to be a giant lake, so it'll be uh, something really neat where we can just come up, take boats out, and test lures, test rods, test all kinds of stuff, go hang out at the pool. It'll be a phenomenal place to be in the outdoors. So, looking forward to that. Pretty excited. You know what? I see some rods over here right now. I see Flair and I see Winston with some rods, so I think it's time to go do some fishing. Okay. Hooch, you going with us today for the cow hunting? Is it Hooch or Pooch? This is Poots. Poots. Formerly known as Daisy. Okay. She likes to talk, don't you? Daisy. Oh. Poots. Daisy Poots. Well, I guess that's the only coyote we're going to see today, huh? I thought you had one. Oh, I got it. I got a gun. Don't worry. It's that Tucker life right here. Grab you a cup of coffee. Hop in the mule. Grab your dog. Daisy Poots, Poots with a T, Poot, Poots with a T, and you just kind of cruise the farm. Maybe look for some sticks, check on the cows, make sure things are checked, don't want anything falling apart out here. If you're lucky, you get to cast a line. We need to move these cows, that's what we need to do. That's the next cow. year's Angus hamburger steaks ready for the freezer right there. Hey, what's happening here? What's happening here? Oh, that, that cow is upset with them. The cow is chasing the sheep. The cows are vicious now, you know that. Cows have been known to be carnivorous. Yeah. I think we need to turn Matt <laughs> loose on one and see if he can sort these cows. I think cows. so too. No, can we I please do that for video? I'm not getting out of the vehicle. Are you scared <laughs> of cows? <laughs> it's in Park. Oh, they're coming right to the pond too where we're supposed to fish. We'll take a little Oh, Jimmy, rider. is that a llama? Of course, we gotta have a llama. <laughs> There's a herd of cows, and then there's just a llama randomly out in the middle. 
Is that what they do? The llamas protect the this cows? They're supposed to. This one doesn't do much, but. There it is. Just <laughs> right out of the middle like a giraffe, just <laughs> trotting around. <laughs> it looks so funny, man. <laughs> it's hilarious. You gotta open the old cattle gate here. I know, I know, eat more chicken and all that good stuff. Definitely want to lock that back up. I don't have anything today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I eat Chick-fil-A all the time, don't worry. God, these things get angry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like we're in the belly of the beast out here in the <laughs> We're going to the valley beyond. Watch out now, girl. Really Let me teach you. You know how to call them that? You know how to call them that? No, I don't know. It's called, you gotta go, woo suck. But you gotta go, woo suck. Come on. Woo suck. Come on now. Woo! How do you call this llama now? That's oh. look at that thing. He's cocked his head sideways. He don't like me. His name he, is Paul. Hey, Paul. Paul. Paul, look at him jabbering jawing over there. God dang. Paul hates me. <laughs> look at Paul. That is the funniest dang creature I've ever seen in my life. Hey, hey Paul. Paul. Oh. Woo! So, come on now. Get it in oh, gear, God. baby. Yeah, you know that does work, Winston. Yeah. That does. This one, look, this one's frothing at the mouth. This one, look at this. Thanks, good. You got this vehicle, you're done. Woo! Da 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 Baby. Can't do that in the city. No, you cannot. Here, boys. Woo! Woo! It smells like something fresh over here, boys. This <laughs> way, please, come on. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's big in there. That is all big, girl. Right. That is big, mama. She jumps out on me. It's old Willis. Woo. Willis? That's his no, name? Wilbur. Oh, I was about to say. Oh, Wilbur. He's pretty dang gum big. Look at that pear on him, dick. <laughs> Just gotta get a couple more mamas to go through and then all these little ones are gonna follow suit. Get in there. All right, we got a pond. We've got flare. Therefore, I mean, there's probably gonna be fish caught. It's fire pond, you know? You know? This is where flare caught the six? Six inches? I, I caught a good fish here. Six or seven pounder. Oh, yeah. It was that big, it was like five. Maybe. It was your PB at the time, wasn't it? No. No. Uh, let's see. Well, you already got a top water tied on. There's a couple of a couple of rods with nothing that are ready for something. Remember that on the end cap at Bass Pro. The walking worm features a lifelike tail action. Go straight up in the air to mimic leeches. Walleye's absolutely slurp and gurp them. <laughs> Sounds pretty spot. <laughs> Did you make that video? <laughs> God dang. You guys. Nice. Little pepper poop. Look at that tackle box. It's frog season. I mean, this guy right here. Frog or chatterbait. That's all I can throw. A Senko. <laughs> and a Senko. Other than that, it's about all I got. Does this, uh, does this break a lot of like rules? I mean, it's like oh, a barrel swivel it's, clip on a frog. Oh, I did that until I was 18 years old. Really? Just, and it, so it's all good. I right? snapped it on. If I saw someone do this, I would cringe. So I'd look at the guy and be like, you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. But I, that was true. Right now, so it's okay. That's true. Put it on a Senko. It's extra dive action. My dad had a box of these randomly, these little tiny ones. I'm going to take them up to Canada because you know the mayflies? Oh, yeah. They'll probably slurp that thing like a little candy corn. Hula popper. I just like being around fishing. Kind of makes me happy. Yep. Dodge a cow patty or two. Give the old popper a toss. Now, when you're pond fishing, you got to stay back, Matt. They can see you already. I promise y'all I didn't just snag that fish. He came up and tried to tag that top water by the bank. These fish are just now starting to spawn. It's crazy. Oh, he came off. Well, I think we had three bites. Captured one. Lost a frog. Poots. Get Poots. Get mud on Rackler's white britches. Poots. Got a second little fishing hole over here and the goats need to be fed. Tucker's gonna get in here and feed them a goat. Gotta give give them some roughage to keep their rooters going, I think is what he said. By the way, most tick infested 
region at all time. Okay, you gotta call them in with the bush. Here they are, they come right on in. You gotta have a little persimmon leaf in the morning. Wait, did you just cut that thing there? So they just come, you just bend that tree over and they just come right on in. Bend it over. You look at them going to town. So they have to have that to keep their uh, rooming going. Oh, I got you. So they just go crazy when you give them a nice they fresh have a tree. Persimmon in the mornings. Oh, that's a persimmon tree. Yeah. Those are those fruits that aren't very good, right? They're amazing good. They're amazing good. Yeah. You don't eat them when they're green because they're. Okay, that's really, what I did when I was really a kid. Bitter. Somebody dared me to. Those leaves are almost gone now. That whole branch. That's they gone. They go. So these goats are now going to have a nice ruminatory system flush their units out. I probably need to give a, the old top water a send. Oh, hey there. Hey. Easy, you're trying to get, oh yeah. Get up in there. Reach them. <laughs> wow, that sucker's seven feet tall when he wants to be. Okay, let me get this pop R out of the way before we hook a goat. So when you get when you get home from all these business trips, you just come out here and you bend the tree over and herd the cows. Yeah. <laughs> okay, these goats have kind of exhausted the area. They need some help. Meanwhile, he's over there fighting Billy. Look, they're just going to ravage this tree. I kind of like this farm life. So Winston was saying that they lost 30 goats this year to coyotes. Y'all can believe that. So they got just these wild dogs running. And they lost about 100 chickens to raccoons and coyotes. So they got a big problem. We need to come up here and do some coyote maintenance, I think. Nope, don't eat the popper. Organic berries. What kind of berries? Blackberries. Mm. They're young. They'll turn red and they'll turn black. Mm. About three weeks we'll be eating blackberry ice cream. Homemade ice cream at the old pool. Mm. <laughs> Cut that tree down. Look at that. That might be a five pounder lay down one of these days. Look at that stump. Winston was saying all this is going to be underwater. He's leaving it for building the big lake or the pond. This will be, you can see the field down here. Oh, yeah. So this little bank will be, that'll be the water edge right there. So we'll drive around. I'll show you where the dam will be at the top. But it'll be 1,200, 1250 foot long. It'll be 54 deep at the dam. And it'll be uh, about 280 feet wide at the dam. I mean... And then you can just sit up there and wait Back for the deer to come. Not a bad little dealio. Oh, then there's another, there's a spring right there, huh? How many springs did you say there's? Uh, according to the uh, government, there's uh, 11 springs. 11 springs feeding it. That's awesome. We're gonna drill them out, put a big piece of steel in, perforate the holes, and that way we have to shoot right up. This is a little jelly pad spring pond. It's, it looks like this year round. But it'll, we'll cut this bank and this will be part of it. Bass love that stuff. There's been those pads that have been here for about 20 years. But there's some juicy frogs in there that are gonna escape, get munched by Mondos. So bit. right here will be the top of the dam. Right here. Now all this brush, we'll, we'll drive around where it's clear and you can see. But this, this will be where the dam starts and it'll go straight 1,250 feet. It's gonna be yeah. ultimate. It's, it's ultimate like, Mondoville. Uh, Giant horse fly right there. That was a big son of a dick. Oh. You got him. You got him. This down. Oxen's up here for real? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. great. So we're gonna come down here and get a bunch of these little flat river rocks before we flood it for the you can see up through here. Yeah, so you can get some cool stuff for the pool or something? Yeah, I'm going to lay them around that, that little ditch around the pool. This is going to be the, where the crappies and the Mondo bass. We'll probably catch them about halfway up that tree maybe. Yeah, we'll be in about, well, the water line. So that corner will be the dam. But I got I bought this, the neighbor's property. We're going to doze all that out. 54 foot there, so we should be about 30, 35 feet right here. That's insane. So I think this is going to be that the LFG Mondo tree right here. And then we got Flair's crappie kingdom over there. Right. Something like that. <laughs> Winston was just talking about making little landmarks all over the, the lake. Kind of since we're going to 
you know, do videos on the build and help out with some stuff. I think that would be pretty sweet. Tadpoles and frogs and crawdads are already... <sighs> already got them in here. Natives. I mean, it's made, this was supposed to be a lake its whole life. It's just been waiting to be a lake. I love that. Look at that frog jumping in there. It comes out right under this tree. And there's another one. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. So it probably runs, it's connected to that little spring so, pond up there. Yeah, this whole, like we call this. Runs underground. A holler, but it's, it's actually a swamp. Like there's probably 10 or 15 artesians. It's everywhere out there. Like if we walked across it right now, we'd sink up this deep. And we could just take a sip. Take a sip. Mm. So that's where that natural water is going to come out and feed this glorious, that's nutritious like filled lake. Poison ivy is pretty strong down here. So there's some, and there's some, I've seen some, see it on that root. Leaves of three. Mm. Stay away. How old is that tree stand right there? It's got to be 55 years old. It was built in the early 50s. Solid quality back then. So we're gonna try to leave that so we can scuba dive down here if the water gets as clear because there's another big spring right up here. So we're hoping it'll be clear enough we can sit in that tree stand and shoot a catfish. <laughs> this will we're all like, be gone. We're looking I'll show at the you dam. When get back. There's a the dam will be up there. Here's another little wet spot. Yeah. Little springs. Chubby little groundhog. Munching on clover. And that tree is going to be left in here? Yep. Wow. It'll be right on the bank. He's already marked it on his graph. Yeah. God, can you imagine getting a fish out of the base of that thing? No, that quail's just chilling. Try to get him to whistle. Oh, he's getting, he's getting ready to duck out. Yeah. He sees Ruger. There it goes. Bob White Point. There it is. Just That's named it. it. Well, after a long morning of hanging out on the farm, we're actually here at the uh, favorite headquarters. We're gonna be going inside doing a little designing, just talking about some stuff for, for next year. But just after seeing that whole entire layout of what that lake is gonna be like, I cannot wait to get up here. It's gonna be the perfect place to come up here, test out new rods, go fishing, film videos and uh, just hang out and just have a good time out in the country. Definitely gonna bring Stephanie up here. Winston's family's pretty awesome too. Winston's wife, she, she makes her own like jam, she pickles her own stuff, you know, it's, it's like dream stuff for Stephanie. So I gotta bring her up here sometime, she'd love it. Hi. Hi, I'm Justin. Hi, nice to meet you. Okay, you guys wanna see the, uh, the holding room? Well, God bless you. This is the room, this is where it all goes down. I don't know if I, I can actually show everything in here, but this is the, the full-blown selection. Mexico memorabilia right here. This is that tournament that uh, me and Winston fished in right here. Oh, there it is, LFG right there. Team USA representing. We actually won that tournament. And we got some Major League Baseball action happening right here. For all you Rangers fans, we got Rangers rods. The Mondo Warehouse. This is a new memorabilia wall. Oh yeah! Remember this? Heck yeah! That's How long ago was that? Two years? Yeah, that was a while, man. Flare Bear. All that right there, ladies and gentlemen. Favorite fishing rods heading out the door. Maybe it's going to your house. There's so much fishing stuff in here, it'll blow your mind. I don't know why I have sunglasses so though. My head kind of hurts, to be honest with you. Kind of got one of them headaches right now. Everywhere you look, there's something. Rack, you need rope? You never know when you need rope. Well, I got, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'll take some rope, but. Oh, hey guys, you need some uh, flashlights in your life? Um, maybe some calls. How about a little call action? <laughs> what in the world? That is the most calls I've ever seen in one time. Let's load up on some stuff here. I'll take three of these guys. I literally had a fox in my backyard two days ago. I want to try to get some of this stuff on camera, see what's roaming around back there. It's a new morning. I just woke up. I wanted to come out here and just kind of soak in the sunrise. That's incredible. I don't know if y'all can see the, the deer 
that are going past the tractor down there by the creek. They're actually sitting in where the deepest part of the lake is going to be, besides the dam, like down in the creek area. So that's just going to be phenomenal, y'all. I can't wait. The, uh, the date on that, around September when uh, we get this thing up and rolling. There's a lot of things involved in building a lake of this size because it's going to be the biggest 30 or 40 mile radius. This is going to be the biggest lake around here. So it's not just a little pond in the backyard. It's an actual <laughs> lake that will sustain wildlife uh, in this county and probably a lot of other counties surrounding here. So I just can't wait to see this project get started. And we're going to be coming up here and doing videos on it. Guys, I love it up here. I love it up here. I really want to take Stephanie up here, show her the farm. This is exactly why I told you guys in the beginning I wanted to work with Favorite, is because it's more than just fishing and a corporation. It's a family, they're my friends. So I'm gonna sign you off on that good note. It is time to go back and get with Ocean Spoon Girl. I have heard she has made my favorite cookies. They're done. They're available, so I gotta get back there and get me some of that. But I'm wishing you guys the best wherever you are. I hope you're catching Mondos. I hope you're having a blessed, blessed day, and I wish you the best. And if you wanna subscribe right here to the channel, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscription button, hit the ding-dongs for all the notifications, especially if you wanna follow along with the pond stuff this summer and leading into fall. It's gonna be a huge project. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But I wish you guys the best, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.